Good morning guys, welcome back to another week in my life vlog. Starting off my morning with some Athletic Greens. It's Monday morning. By the way, this isn't sponsored and they've never sent this to me. I am a paying customer myself and I love this stuff. I'm traveling this week. I am going to Cabo and then I'm going to Chicago and then I come back for a week and then I'm going to New York um, for a very short, short trip. Also, I don't have a whisk or um, not a whisk. Uh, early i'm like tired what is it and was candle i don't know frother so we're gonna try this here over the sink anyways after that travel i'm pretty much home for a bit and i'm really excited to get into like a really healthy routine like i'm still doing it while i'm home but like i went on a really i had the best weekend i made a tiktok vlog i went horseback riding i went to pilates so i checked fancy gifted me stuff I went to honor bar twice it was a really fabulous weekend went on a really long walk yesterday and i'm like i just want to start off my days with long walks so I can't wait for a couple weeks from now when it's getting back into my healthy routine. Also, I really want an infrared sauna in this house and I really want the cold plunge. And I think I'm gonna be fake and not use the cold plunge until it's like 100 degrees out or whatever, like my plan. I made this plan with Macy and I think it's really gonna work. We're gonna go on walks during lunch every day, lather on like oil to tan, and then we're gonna cold plunge after that. And it's gonna be nice because there's no other time in your life that you would like to go, oh my God, that you would like to cold plunge. And then other than a, an hour long walk in 100 degree weather in the summer, you know what I mean? So I'm thinking that that is going to work. Coco is back home from the vet and I will not be showing you guys her because it is a little bit traumatic. She can't walk. Um, She's gonna be able to walk again, like that was the surgery. And it's a really common surgery. So many people got it. Like it's just, you know, it's a it's a common surgery. She had the IBDD like disc surgery. It's really sad. Like I sit there and I woke up like an hour early this morning and we've been doing her exercises. We I she has all these meds and stuff and it's just like so sad. And she, I mean, like she can't even like pee herself, guys. Like I have to like relieve her myself. Um, you like squeeze her stomach, but. It's just like really sad. So uh, I'm gonna give her a bath today. My grandma's gonna come over and we're gonna give her a bath. I need help because if we obviously, she has like a whole incision in her back and we can't get that wet. So it's a two person job, but she needs a bath. And also I should have gotten her hair cut when she got, a, she got groomed last time because now she just has like all this fur and then her back has nothing. I mean like she looks rough. Anyways, I'm gonna chug this. I like keep, this is the longest intro ever. I'm sorry guys. I don't mind the taste. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I really don't mind it. I mean, I always drink it on an empty stomach. Am I supposed to do that? I don't know. What, you know when you just like get something in your head? It's just fine with that. So, anyways, I'm gonna go work out very, very soon. Eat my breakfast and go. Also, this weekend I finished. Well, I started and finished a book, Frida McFadden. I know we're all surprised. It was my fifth book of Frida in like. I don't know, a month maybe, like six weeks. I am obsessed with her books. She wrote The Housemaid, which is her most popular. And like, that's the one that everyone, I feel like is reading and talking about right now and whatever. And we did it for our last book club. I liked that book, it was fine. I just totally guessed the entire thing, basically. The thing about it is like, you, even if you guess the ending, which I've only been able to do with like The Housemaid, like there's still so many other twists that you didn't see coming. It's the same structure as The Last of so that's like why I saw that coming. Anyways, her other books are unreal. Like they are some of the best thrillers I've ever read. I'm a really big thriller reader. So this weekend, I started and finished Do Not Disturb. And I also liked that. And that might be a top one. Like at first when I was reading, I'm like, it's okay, whatever. And then I just kept thinking back. I'm like, I, I like that one. I finished The Perfect Sun last week and it just made me feel weird. It was just very eerie. Like some of her books are just so twisted that you like feel weird reading them. Um, But if y'all are looking for a new thriller author, highly recommend it. I really did like do not disturb it really i did not see that one coming so it's cold here right now guys can you tell i'm just like trying to keep talking no but this week i need to prep for cabo so i'm going to plan out all my outfits in chicago i'm gonna start doing that today i think and then also i have furniture coming oh i have new rugs to show you guys those came this weekend and then the woman from the container store is coming today to do final measurements and then we're gonna schedule out when my closet will be built and also my realtor melanie bray if y'all are in dallas if you're moving around dallas use Melanie Bray and Einstein moving. She connected me with this like closet organizer who's gonna come in and organize everything. And it's going to be absolutely amazing. So that'll be in April and I'll have my closet. I'm gonna be so happy. No, wait, also, sorry guys. I just have to tell you, like show you how stunning 
my bag looks right now like isn't this so beautiful i am obsessed it will be released um early april we're shooting them like next week when i'm back they're just so stunning like they get more and more and more stunning i can't describe it to you this i will be literally wearing 24 7 if i'm bringing it to cabo actually we only have one sample so i don't know if i should bring it to cabo i mean what's the worst nothing can happen I don't know, I shouldn't even say it. Knock, knock on wood. I'm back home, it's 10 a.m. and I'm ready and dressed with makeup on on a Monday. It's very unlike me. I just shot this outfit for Macy's. It's so cute. First off, this is not sponsored by the way, but um, the post post, not the video mentioned. Anyways, I'm gonna bring this to Cabo this weekend. I honestly might bring the whole look, but I already have to like, I don't know. I haven't decided. I need to like get a different bra situation here, but this bag is like the perfect clutch or vacation, I don't really like bringing nice bags to vacation. It just like worries me. These boots, if y'all need, I mean, I'm always asked about cowboy boots and I need to do, maybe I'll do an entire YouTube video on them. I feel like that might be overkill. I should do videos on coastal cowgirl outfits though. Like, what am I thinking? Anyways, um, these boots are perfect for coastal cowgirl. Also, question, I have wider calves and so they always, like they don't fit Boots don't fit me like how I wish they would. I wish that there was like, they were looser, taller, had more like, like space around my calf. And like stretching them out, normally you can't do that. And I know I like getting custom made boots are very expensive. So like, what do you guys do? You know? Anyways, these are incredible, incredible boots and they're perfect for Costa Cowgirl. This dress is also really cute. Everything's inexpensive. So anyways, I have a Princess Polly haul to do because I made an order last minute for some Cabo outfits, I also, like a month ago, bought so many new swimsuits. More than I need for this, but just like for the summer, because I feel like I never have cute swimsuits that I love and I'm not excited about it and whatever. So we're gonna get to that. I'm gonna do a little Princess Polly haul really quick. All right, outfit number one. Well, actually, item number one of the Princess Polly haul. I'm just trying these on for vacation. Imagine this with a tan. Um, I feel like this is just such an easy, classic, cute little like Cabo look. I love the dress. It's really airy, which is always what I need. I live in Princess Polly dresses in the summer. Like I love Princess Polly, but especially in the spring and summer because they just have the best dresses at the best prices. I bought all these again. I keep, how many times am I gonna say not sponsored? I used Macy's code this, um, for this order. So anyways, I think this is really cute. It's a good option. I'm gonna take a photo and then make an album. I'm gonna be very organized. Okay, so this is a fail. I got this top too small. It's supposed to be like cut and I don't know, it's just like not fitting right. Like that over some suits is actually cute, um, but I need to return it for bigger size. And then these shorts are too big. I sized up and I don't know. Denim shorts are just so hard to do. So this is a no, but it would have been a cute idea. Okay, this is supposed to be a swimsuit cover up. Not wearing swimsuit bottoms, still the shorts. But I think this is cute. Like this is easy, cute. I'm into it. It's not like the nicest looking thing in the world, but I still think it's fun. And just something that I like will actually wear. I, I think I like it. All right, I got this set. And again, this will all look so much better when I have a tan, but I like it. I don't know if I'm gonna wear it in Cabo. It's definitely like something I will wear in the summer. This is cute with like little black kitten heels. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I like it. It's really green. I don't know if you can see the detailing there. I love just a nice like two piece set though. And then wearing this with like kitten heels is fun. All right, I got this skirt that was supposed to have a matching top. And the top is like really cute, but it doesn't like fit over my arm somehow. I don't know. So it would have been really cute. I'm gonna keep the skirt just because I want more skirts anyways. I'm gonna return this. I'm trying to get really good about returns. I also got a belt. All right, y'all, I just made my second coffee of the day. The one thing I will say about my amazing coffee creamer, the Cookie Butter Calithia Farms one that I've been telling you guys about, is that it makes me drink more coffee. Honestly, I've just been like tired and needing a second cup, cup of coffee, and we said that together. I don't know. I've been drinking more coffee than normal. It's like what I'm trying to say, but it just tastes so good, okay? Anyways, I have a Sephora haul. Um, my grandma came over and we gave Coco a little bath. At least I can set you guys up here. This might be a better look. Um, we give Coco a little bath. Again, I don't really want to show her on camera just because I just like don't, I don't want you guys to see her like this because it's just sad. But I'm about to do some massages and stuff. We have a lot on her recovery. In like an hour, 
the lady from the container store is coming over to do my final measurements and then I'm hoping we're able to schedule. I have a Sephora haul. I've been getting all of my Sephora orders. I like barely ever go in. I'm such a like DoorDash order, whatever. If I can be home, I wanna be home. I think it's just especially in traveling. I don't know. I just have like my routine and I don't like running errands, which I have to do tomorrow. Anyways, I'm like going to the mall tomorrow. I don't know why I just didn't wait, but I got all this on Instacart. I say that because don't even order online. You just get it on Instacart and it's the same thing and you get it that day, okay? So I picked up the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Kit and I also found that this morning. So I just have an extra, but it's fine because it's just something I use forever. Okay, I got this NARS Body Glow Oil and I was like, is this like super, like look at how dark it looks. But like obviously it doesn't go on like that. It, like it, okay, actually don't say obviously because you don't know that. I'm assuming this is just, first off, I'm really pale right now and I'm not feeling my best and I'm trying to scrub up all of my tanner that's a messed up. I'm in tan on Wednesday, so let me just make, oh, that's too much. Smells good. Oh, wow. Yeah, it just gives you this nice glow. I have the, um, God, what is it called? I made a TikTok about it. I have like the name, it's sold out everywhere, so I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna share it with you guys right now. When it comes back in stock, I'll share it. It's the best like bronzing oil I've ever used in my life, but it's out of stock for like ever right now. So I have that, but I got this as backup. So I've been wanting to try, is it Say? Everyone's been talking about it. And this is their tinted moisturizer, the slip tint. I literally just got the Kosas. Well, it's the Kosas foundation. I feel like I'll love this. I'll try all this tomorrow, maybe. I'm probably not gonna wanna get ready, but for you guys, I will. Um, and then I just got their Air Set Radiant Loose Setting Powder, and this is just in translucent, which is nice when you, uh, you're like me and you tan all the time and you're a different shade like every day. Wow, it's actually really small, which, it's kind of annoying because less product, but also nice for travel because the Laura Mercier one with travel is such a pain. It takes up too much room in my set or my bag, whatever. Okay, I got this Too Faced Plump and Prime Luxury Face Plumping Primer Serum. I saw someone talk about this on TikTok and said that this makes it look like you have like face filler. And I love the Too Faced like plumping lip serum. So I'm interested to try this. I will be trying this tomorrow. I guess I'm doing like a full face of new makeup. I'll either do it on the vlog or I'll do it um, on TikTok. And then my favorite bronzer ever. Like they're honestly one of my favorite makeup products I've ever used in my life is this Fenty bronzer in Coco Naughty. And it's a little bit warm toned. And using this has just changed the game. It warms my face perfectly. It has like the best glow. My makeup artist, Kristen Farah, used it on me and I was like, what is that? And I got it immediately and this is my second one. It's so good. I cannot recommend that bronzer enough. I also got um, a little peptide moisturizer from the Inky List. Um, just because I'm running out. And then I got the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This is a travel size setting spray, which I needed for travel. Um, but I did just find my Morphe spray. So anyways, that is my Sephora haul. This stuff adds up. I will link everything in case you guys are interested and then I'm sure I'll be doing it in the vlog. I'm gonna drink some more coffee. I'm gonna do some massages with cocoa. I'm doing laundry, Fitz is out there. I went to lunch with my grandma. Um, just getting done. Oh, getting work done. But also, I need you guys to comment below like really good book racks, but not popular ones. Like, and it's not Astro Book Rack, they're like, you should read Seven Husbands. Like, no, like it needs to be not popular books because I have read probably every book online that's talked about because once I hear about a book, I read it. Like if it's like a really popular one, obviously. I feel like most people who like to read have read like Verity, Seven Husbands, like you know what I mean? All those. I need books that are maybe like not as popular or ones that you guys like from authors that aren't as popular, like things like that, to where I wouldn't have read that book yet because I'm running out and I've read five Freedom McFadden books in a row and I need it to spice it up. I also started Paris Hilton's memoir. It's good, I'm just like not in the mood for a memoir right now. So I wanna like wait until I'm more in the mood, but I'm trying to download a bunch of books for while I'm traveling because I also read a ton when I travel. So, Anyways, I'm gonna go do Coco's little massage. Good morning, guys. I am currently figuring out what to wear on my morning walk. I can't find my like big gray free people vest that I love. Like I saw someone wear it on Instagram and I'm like, wait, where's mine? It's actually pretty chilly, so I'm gonna put on this puffer. 
I have a workout tonight. My dining table is arriving today. Um, and this morning I need to go run some errands. I'm gonna do some returns and then I need to find a good pair of denim shorts um, from Abercrombie, which I feel like is the worst thing to shop for. I don't love denim shorts. I don't love how they look on me normally. It's just like the thing that I like don't feel the best about, but I'm gonna try to find the perfect pair today for y'all and for myself. So we're going to Abercrombie. I basically like live in Curve Love, which is my favorite thing ever. Probably we get TikTok of that too. Um, I'm listening to the Goop podcast and Fitz and I are gonna go on a nice little walk. It's so peaceful, my life that I've been living. And I can't wait. Oh, um, update on the closet. So they pretty much finalized that last night. I have to have one more call with them today and then we can schedule for early April. Oh, I started Alan Hildebrand's new book. It's not out yet. It comes out in June, the five star weekend. They sent it to me early and that's like the coolest thing about my job, honestly, is the books being sent early. I have to be honest, like I'm not just saying this because it was a gift and because I love Ellen, but like I think it's my favorite one of her books so far. I was up last night, I read like 30%, which is a good amount because her books are pretty long and I honest, I might be like 40. I like kind of want to finish it today. Like I was sleeping and I woke up in the middle of the night thinking about the book. I just love it. Also, if you guys didn't know, last summer we went to Nantucket. We did a whole Nantucket inspired trip by like Ellen Hildebrand, which if you guys know who Ellen Hildebrand is, Ellen is an author and she writes basically all of her books on the island of Nantucket. She lives there year round and we met her and she's like great. Um, yeah, like the best time ever in Nantucket is my favorite place in the entire world. Like my ultimate dream is to like have, oh my God, I was looking for these. That's amazing, they're in my pocket. My dream, absolute dream would be to have a summer house there, but it's like um, $17 million, so we'll see, you know? Um, anyways, going on a nice walk, Fitz, I can tell he's wanting more attention. He's not doing well with the fact that Coco needs attention because she is recovering and he just needs all the attention on him now, which I haven't seen him jealous like this. I don't know, maybe it's the new house getting to his head his new backyard. Maybe he's getting a little bit cocky here. All right, y'all, like honestly, why is it so dark in here? The last thing I'm gonna do right now is put makeup on, but I promise I would try these products. Also, if you hear Coco barking in the background, I'm so sorry, there's only so much I can do. She barks for like a couple minutes and then she goes to bed. The poor girl is recovering. So let's be nice. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. well. Okay, so I got this like plump and prime Too Faced primer that I saw on TikTok. I'm actually gonna try it for TikTok. I'll keep you guys rolling. Um, I'm just like very interested in this product. They said it's like lip plumper, but for your face. And it looks like you have like filler in your face, which I don't even really care to have. I'm just so like intrigued by the product. So, time to try this out. Oh guys, by the way, Red Wedding Housewives sweats. These are in XL. I like to wear large, they're a little bit too baggy, but size up for like the loose fit, you know? They're available. Actually, I don't know if these are available, but the navy blue ones are. All right, I'm also trying the Say Tinted Moisturizer, which I feel like I'm gonna like, but I also, I need a new sponge, so I can't really tell because I feel like the application isn't that great. I don't know, I mean, I think it's good. My skin is kind of a little, like I'm breaking out a little bit, but yeah, I feel like it's good. I, I'm going to get a light in here, for a video so you guys can get better lighting and see, but I do like it. I have like brown marks from my sunscreen, but it's just like really light coverage. Okay, I just added the Kosas powder and then the Charlotte Tilbury blush thing. I need to go through my makeup bag because it's really crazy and like overcrowded right now. And besides like what I need in here, what I don't need in here, like it's a little bit ridiculous how many products I just have and also organized stuff. So I'll do that when I pack and we'll go through like what matters. Maybe I'll put a little bit of this bronzer on just because I love it. I also want to clean my makeup brushes today. Oh God, that's a lot. Okay, so I've got to figure out how to blend this out. We'll just throw a blush on. Okay, so I'm gonna go do returns this morning. Feeling yeah, like such an adult. Honestly, like I could run a marathon and I would still feel more accomplished if I actually did my returns. I also heard there's like a, I know Lauren has it. There's like a subscription where you pay $15 a month and all of your returns are picked up from your doorstep. That's what I need to do. Um, because I feel like more often than not, I like have every intention of returning it and then it just sits in my car and I forget about it. Even like happy returns and stuff just cause like you have to go to different places and like, I 
don't know. It's like just like the one thing I'm really bad at as an adult. Also, my Morphe setting spray. Oh, this stuff. There's nothing like it. I need to order like 15 more because I think Morphe's going out of business. So, anyways, I'm gonna do a little pillow talk lip liner. And yeah, I can't wait to get new shorts. A night softener, it's you too. I don't plan on buying a new outfit for the Chicago Live Show. Just because I have so many things I could wear, but like I kind of do need a new top. I don't know. So I might go into a Ritzia too. I love going to North Park, Perks of Working for Yourself, at like 10 a.m. on a weekday because it's not busy and it's such a peaceful experience, which is not how I would speak of North Park. Anyways, like it's crazy how great of a lip combo Pillow Talk has been and always will be. Like look, I have this iPhone tripod, which I'll link because it is amazing. Like literally the best tripod ever. But I need one for my vlog camera. Maybe they have those. I feel like they don't. I need to, I'll, I'll figure it out. Okay, do you wanna say I like how this into moisturizer looks? I'm sorry, okay, bye. All right, I just went to Whole Foods to drop off some returns. Also, at this Whole Foods, it's not even, like you don't drop it off to a person. I'm sure everyone in the world already knows that this exists and I'm like behind. The Whole Foods I used to do returns at, it was a person. This one, you just scan the QR code, a locker opens and you put it in and that's it. Crazy. Anyways, since I'm such a big Califia Farms girly these days, I'm really tired. I'm like hitting a wall. It's rainy and gross out right now. Normally I think that's cozy, but I'm just like ready for the sun, I think. Anyways, I'm really tired for whatever reason. So I'm drinking this. Taste test time. It literally tastes like chocolate milk. It's so good. Califia Farms, I love you. Like seriously. I'm also really picky with coffee and like coffee drinks and sometimes they make me too anxious and like whatever and I can tell by when I sit them it's like the acidity level I think. So good. Literally tastes like chocolate milk. Posting this to my Instagram story right now. Have to share it to people. I'm also a little bit, why I might be a book influencer these days. I'm also a drink influencer and that's where my roots came from. That's where everything came from. I also got this bowl. They had no breakfast. Okay, I'm not even gonna tell you. My, my food that I'm eating is a little bit mix, mismatched. All right guys, I just had to go to Ulta because Ulta does happy returns. Here's a life hack for my Dallas girls and guys. If you're doing a bunch of returns and you have Amazon returns and then you have like other like Princess Polly returns for example Just a lot of returns in general go to the Park Lane little like shopping center because Whole Foods You can do Amazon Ulta you can do happy returns and then I'm sure there's like FedEx or something close Anyways, it's just nice that they're in the same center earlier I was just saying how I need more Morphe setting spray and I also more than that needed travel ones so I got two Morphe setting sprays. They were just at checkout at Ulta, thank God. And I was also saying how I need a new sponge. And they have the Real Techniques. I almost grabbed a beauty blender, and then I saw the Real Techniques sponge. These are so good. I get them in a pack of like three or four on Amazon. I think they're like 14 bucks for all of them. And it is a way better sponge than beauty blender, and it is so much cheaper. Like you can get four for cheaper, $6 cheaper than the price of one beauty blender. The Real Techniques one, like there's just nothing that compares. It is the best sponge ever, so anyways. Now I'm going across the street and we are going to get good denim shorts. I do not feel like putting clothes on and changing. It's just cold and I want to be home, but it's on the to-do list. All right, just tried these on. We're leaving with four pairs of denim shorts and linen. Go look at the TikTok for the try-on portion, um, but I'll link them in the vlog and do a little mini haul. I actually really like them. I think the key is to size up in denim shorts at some points because I like them to feel looser. I don't want them to feel super tight. Um, these are really long and these are shorter. These are my favorite ones, by the way. Also my favorite wash, but they didn't have this wash in other options, so I'll probably come back and get them. I have a lot of dark denim shorts, but I mean, I'm obviously not gonna wear all these in Cabo. I just felt like they'd be good to have, obviously, for summer, even though I'm not a huge denim shorts girl. But it's nice to have a pair that you like, because I feel like most of the time they make me really insecure and I don't like them. And these I feel really comfortable in. So I stopped in Aritzia and I'm glad I did because I definitely found my Chicago live show outfit. Well, just talk. Girls in Aritzia are so nice and like so chatty and I was so exhausted. And I'm like, I like literally can't talk to anyone because I have nothing to say. Anyways, I got this really, you know what guys? We're gonna have to do this haul at home, old school. I tried my best, I did, but it's not gonna work here. Oh God, okay, I need to get home. Hopefully my furniture is coming soon. We'll chat a sec.
I have something very exciting to show you. Look, the furniture has arrived. The rug is from Rugs USA and the furniture is CB2. The brown thing over there that's messed up is also CB2. I went with part bench because I feel like it's just like homey and cozy and then added some texture. I felt like I was over boucle, buccal, whatever you want to call it since it's literally all over my house. And I feel like it's gonna be so over. Like this is gonna be the thing that we look back on and we're like, why did we have that all over our house? But I loved adding the texture with the wood. I'll eventually add like a big art piece here. Um, everything just looks so good. But I love it. It's really long. We've got the 91 inch table. I will say it's kind of thin. I almost wish it was a little bit wider, but it's like honestly the perfect size of this room. I got a really big table because yes, this is where I'll be hosting dinner parties and whatever um, when I can't host them outside. But also, this is really where I'm gonna work in my house. Like I really, I've had offices before and I don't really love having an office. I really just like having like a big table. Um, it's kind of nice over here that there's no TV. At the same time though, like I always watch TVs on podcasts when I am working. So I feel like I'll be like doing meetings and stuff here, but I'll probably still end up working in my kitchen a lot. But anyways, love this look. It looks so like mature and nice. Oh my God, I'm just obsessed. I got my calisters for lunch. No surprise here. I thought I had stuff to make and honestly, I just, I don't even have it in me right now. All right guys, I clean my makeup brushes. I'm kind of like really on a roll today. Returns, makeup brushes, I mean, look at me go. Getting some work done. I realized I forgot to give you guys the haul because as soon as I got home, they were delivering my furniture. I guess they came earlier, like the time got messed up or something, but no complaints here, really convenient. We're gonna start with Abercrombie. I've also linked these on um, Instagram stories, but also on my LTK profile. Oh my God. I have been getting requests actually from you guys. I didn't think any of you guys cared about LTK, but I've been getting requests to like start linking outfits and stuff there. So I linked all of my denim shorts, a bunch of like stuff in the home, whatever. So it's all there as well. In case you guys don't come back to this video and you need something else. Anyways. Here we go, I got the mom short. Here's the thing, I, like I said, I like Abercrombie Curve Love denim, I love it. It's the only thing that fits like my waist better and my thighs and my butt and like it just like, denim just never fits all three, you know what I mean? It's like, you either have like a bunch of, like your thing is extended, guys I'm so tired, and it's just too big around your waist and it fits, whatever, you guys get what I'm saying? Um, but they only had one pair of Curve Love shorts, so what I did is I just sized up and they were fine, so these are a size eight, um, and I'm like a true size six, I'm a true medium on bottoms, so um, just so you guys know, in case you feel the same way, and you don't get curve love, just size up. Also with denim shorts, I like them to be bigger, like I wanna get like really big, my dream, where can I find these shorts, is I need them to fit my waist, but also I could, you know, use a belt, and they'd be like really baggy around my legs, like where do I find those, you know what I mean? Um, the next pair, so we got the mom short, and these are not curved, oh, are they curved? No. High rise. Um, again, all these fits are on my TikTok vlog, Kenzie the Texan. These are the curve love ones, so I got them in a size six. The dad short, um, and these are longer. I got two pairs that are shorter and two pairs that are longer. Um, and then here's the four inch mom short. I actually really like the look of like longer shorts. They're not like Bermuda long, but they're like, they're like more modest, and I would not say I'm a modest girly at all, um, but that's just like the word that comes to mind. Anyways, I like them like this, really cropped tank top and like cowboy boots, like that's the vibe that I like. Also, the coastal cowgirl thing, literally perfect for me. And then I also got these linen shorts. I have the matching um, linen top, I think actually. I need to find it, it's somewhere here. It was sent to me by a brand. But anyways, I've got these in a medium. They seem nice as like a swimsuit cover up, whatever. All of these together was I think like $340, $330, which is obviously a lot of money, but for that many pairs of denim shorts, I feel like that's a good deal, especially for denim shorts that like last year. Like Abercrombie denim is my favorite denim. Um, and I feel like $60 a pair of shorts, is, it's not bad at all compared to like a lot of the other ones are like 90 and I'm like, wait, the jeans are 90 and this is less fabric. I don't get it. Anyways, um, yeah, I really like those and I felt like that was a good price. I got what might be my favorite skirt ever. Oh, by the way, I went to Aritzia, yeah? as you guys know, and I got this dress 
and it's just so cute. Imagine this with those cowboy boots that it's got from Macy's. Also, I just want to apologize that so much of this vlog is hauls and like things that I got and blah, 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 whatever. This was like a big shopping week because of the trips coming up. I don't normally shop this much. I did return a ton of stuff. I'm sorry. Like there probably won't be that many like clothing hauls coming up. I mean, who knows? I say that, but like, sorry if that's not your thing or whatever. Anyways, um, this is stuff that like I'm going to wear literally all the time and I will keep this, like this is gonna be one of those dresses that I keep in my closet for like 10 years, you know what I mean? Anyways, Aritzia, so cute. I feel like I will wear this in Cabo. I obviously love pink, it's like all I wear. I got this skirt. I've been getting really into skirts lately. I feel like that's gonna be like my summer thing. So this one was floral and I felt like it was really cute. Um, and then the girl actually just like put this in my dressing room and normally I like don't pay attention when they do that But I'm actually really glad she did because it's like exactly the kind of skirt I've been looking for It's almost like you know how Love Shack has those skirts that are so popular, but they're like $300 a skirt It's that vibe, but this one was only 68 and again I feel like I'm gonna wear this non-stop and it also makes me like want to wear it to Cabo This is cowboy boots like that's so cute. So I really like that. I got that at a medium and then um, I got this top, which I wish I could have gotten in a medium. They only had it in a large, but I'm gonna style this and wear this for my live show and like jeans and heels, I think. Or if Lauren wants to dress up more, we can. I can wear leather pants. Um, I feel like I do need to maybe wear leather pants. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. But I do like this vibe. I felt like it was cute. And I just needed a different top for the show. So anyways, that is what I picked up from the mall today. I have more work that I need to do, but I'm like waiting on emails for these people to send me because I can't do the work without the emails. So honestly, I might go back to reading my book. Like I'm really wanting to read this Ellen Hildebrand book. Unfortunately, I signed up for a 6 p.m. workout which always sounds like a good idea until I forget that I like to be like in bed at 7.30 and cooking. And I don't actually like going to a nighttime. I like it when I'm there and I love the feeling, but like I'm such a homebody and like once I'm home for the day, like I don't wanna leave again. Once I do like my morning routine and I'm working from home, like I don't wanna leave again. So anyways, I'm gonna go to that unless I cancel, which I don't think I will. I'm not even letting myself think about that. So no, 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 I'm going. I'm forcing myself to go. I also might sell tan, I just can't shut up. I also might sell tan tonight and tomorrow. I don't know if that's a bad idea. It could very much so be a bad idea. I don't know. I really, really don't know. But I have no base tan, you know what I mean? We'll see. All right guys, great news. Well one, I somehow, by some miracle, am making it to my Pilates class. I honestly was like, I could see myself Cancel, like, cause here's the deal. Like I, all I wanted to do was stay in bed and read. And you know what? Do I have things that I need to get done? Yes, I do. I definitely do. And I'm, especially cause I'm traveling. But, um, I really just wanted to say and read on the couch. I just had the fire going. I had like a whole vibe going, right? But then I unboxed a lot of packages that my realtor dropped off for me. What an angel. Melanie Bray, if y'all are, honestly like anywhere in Texas, they have, they cover like all of Texas, they're massive now. Um, but it's Bray Real Estate. Anyways, um, then I had my final meeting with the container store for my closet and we scheduled my install day, which is less than two days or th two weeks away. It's April 3rd, which is great. Cause like I'm out of town anyways, the next like couple of days, like week. Um, and then it gets installed and then I go to New York and then I'm back for a while and I'm very excited. So, I'm on my way to Pilates. I'm gonna get a great workout in. I think I am gonna tan tonight. Macy and I are gonna walk in the morning. She texted me because she gets back today. <laughs> Just really getting it together. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you all Coco because she's in this and I'm drying her from a bath. Good morning, it is Wednesday, I woke up. I um, went on a walk with Fitz and then I just went to weightlifting and now I'm back. Coco keeps going to the bathroom on herself, so I've been giving her a butt bath every day. So here she is. Um, she can't move her back legs at all. Very sad, like this is like what I stress about and think about literally 24 seven. Um, I would have canceled my trips upcoming if I could, I just like can't cancel, I like obviously the live show, I'm like whatever. 
thank God my dad is going to watch her. And I'm going over tonight and I'm giving him very, very, very extensive instructions on what to do. But anyways, she like, see, I mean, she's like tired and in a mess. And also, I mean, she needs a haircut, but that can't happen for a while. We're one week out surgery right now. She still isn't walking. Like she can't really move her back legs, but I don't know if I'm just going crazy or if I felt like this morning there was like some sort of something towards movement that I was like, maybe, I don't know. But anyway, some people take days. So, or some people, some dogs take days to walk again. Some dogs take months. So everyone just keep Coco in your thoughts and prayers for positive recovery and for her to be able to walk soon. It's an 80% chance she walks again. They said that's like conservative. Um, but she makes not even walks again. She makes a full recovery. Regardless, there will be a recovery and like whatever. This is normal. She's basically in spine surgery, but she's literally in the crate 24 seven and she's not doing like her massages with me or sometimes I'll have her like lay on me. Uh, I mean, she's on like trazodone, so she's like pretty sleepy and stuff. But here is Coco and her back is shaved and like she's, she's really something to walk. She has this like, I don't know where it is. I think it's over there. She has this, oh my God, I'm like literally a mother. Look at this. This like sling almost, I guess, that I like hold up. It's so sad. Like it is so sad. So I will put y'all through that. Um, but if any of you guys know people online that have like documented this post-surgery journey, someone sent me one girl's thing, but her dog like recovered pretty quickly. Please let me know. And also only positive cases. I don't want to hear anything negative. So anyways, here she is. Coco is strong. She's going to be good. Um, so tomorrow I leave for Cabo. I'm gonna um, pack today and get all my outfits planned and I'm going to Chicago straight from there for the live show. I'm gone for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. One. I'm gone for five days. The last thing I wanna do right now is leave, but there's just like really nothing I can do. Obviously I'm grateful to be going to Cabo um, and Chicago, but like just the timing sucks. So anyways, um, I'm gonna handle that, make some breakfast, shower, and then I need to try on outfits which I like hate doing, but it's really good for you when you pack. And I need to try my live show outfit regardless. So anyways, I'm so hungry. So I'm gonna make some food. Oh, I listened to Armstrong Expert this morning and I loved it. Also, I'm sorry that this is where I vlog like literally all the time. I need to find new vlogging spots. I loved it. It was the episode with David Letterman. I mean, I do love Armstrong Expert. I don't listen to every episode. I just like listen depending on the guest, but I um, love the episode with David Letterman. Like such a good one. So anyways, just here I am with little Coco, the little baby. Oh, wow. She's only seven, guys, so. She's gonna push through. Right, Coco? Everyone, thoughts and prayers. All right, y'all, I have showered. I have booked a spray tan for tonight, and I'm getting to packing. I'm also in the middle of doing laundry, so some of this stuff, like most, this is all going with me, but some of this stuff is getting washed. Um, I have my pajamas. I have, like, random pouches. This Frankie bikini set that I have, that's like a, it's not like a workout set, it's like a lounge set, it's so cute. Um, Brooke has to work out, so I guess I'll be bringing some workout sets that I'm currently washing. I'm watching Theo Vaughn right now, but um, lots of bikinis. That's my live show outfit. Lounge outfits, water, like swimsuit cover-ups, whatever, tank tops and stuff, and then this is what I'm gonna be wearing out to dinner, etc. cetera. So, um, not like, crazy i mean this isn't the lightest packing ever but i feel like we're just gonna be like we're gonna be in the pool on a swimsuit like pretty much all day every day so i really just needed like three nighttime outfits and i have a backup i really have two backups just in case um but yeah here's what i have oh i also have i mean like these are my cover-ups obviously the okine ryan shirt i love this um i have this pink cover up from Year of Ours, it's like terry cloth. I have this one that you guys saw in the Princess Polly Hall and then this Abercrombie like linen set. And then these are just like my lounge clothes because I will be needing lounge clothes throughout the five days, especially when I am in Chicago and like getting my makeup done and stuff. So that is that. All right, y'all, it is later. I went to my dad's to give him the Coco rundown. I am packed. I just got back from a spray tan. I last minute booked a tan at Sugar and Bronze. I normally in Dallas, my favorite tan is Dallas 180. They are the best and they're mobile so they come to you. I didn't book it in time. I wasn't even gonna like reach out and bother them just cause it was like so last minute. So I booked it at Sugar and Bronze. I didn't even realize that we had them here. I didn't even realize that we had them in Dallas, but we do. They have like a Lakewood one on Mockingbird. They have a Highland Park one apparently. I don't know. Anyways, I'll keep you guys posted on if I like my tan or not. Last time I got a tan from them in LA, I really didn't like it. 
this time we'll see actually i just they were like really mean in la which i've gone to them a couple times there and i normally like them but it was like a really really crazy experience anyways the girls in dallas or the girl who's in the dallas location was so nice today so anyways i need to send over footage oh guys I finished ellen hildebrand's book um the five star weekend you guys can pre-order it now it comes out in june it was so good if you guys liked eliza starts a rumor it's kind of those vibes like it gives Follows like a bunch of different storylines of like middle-aged women, like moms, but it's so good. And this woman, she is like a famous food blogger, but it wasn't like cringy, annoying, influencer-y. Um, but she loses her husband and then she ends up having this week in the five-star weekend where she invites four women from different like parts, phases of her life, if you will. And they're all individually interesting. There was a bunch of different storylines and I was like equally interested in like all the storylines, which I feel like there's always one that you don't care about. Loved the book. I cannot wait for everyone else to read it. I was just telling my mom on the phone. I'm like, I really wish that it was out so she could read it and we could talk about it. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, oh my God, this vlog. The next vlog will be me in Chicago and Cabo. Everyone sing Coco, positive energy, good vibes, prayer, everything, whatever. I, literally, I'll take anything, okay? Um, she's at my dad's and I gave him extens extensive instructions, if you will. So. Anyways, love you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I will talk to you soon. Bye. I just had brought up how I like really stopped dating for a long time and how it was the best thing I could have ever done for myself. And I was like, I honestly need to record a solo episode on this. I've recorded episodes on breakups, on heartbreaks. I'll touch on that throughout the episode, but today is more about like me, myself and I. It's all about me, okay? But it's really all about you if you're listening to this and how this was just like a very transformative two years of my life, which I'm not saying everyone needs to be single and not date for two years, like whatever. We're gonna get into all that, but this, I think these past two years have been, I mean, I know these past two years. Why do I always say I think? I know these past two years have been so transformative and very like, almost like building blocks as to like who I am,